again, you've raised a lot of issues. Um, I've got my own views on supplements, which um, I, I generally disagree with. You know, I think we should get our, our foods, as you're suggesting, our, our yeah. nutrients from uh, picking foods. But in general, you know, I don't want to be too reductionist and think that we have to, you know, we've picked on omega-3 because that just happens to be one of the chemicals we know about. But there's probably <laughs> hundreds of others we don't know about. And so most people's best bet is to keep their diet as diverse as possible with as many particularly different plants and things that look like the original food rather than yeah. things that are highly processed. So, but the other point you're making is that actually some of the things that we uh, might regard as unhealthy in tins or in frozen products mm -hmm. are often actually very healthy for us. So yeah. Um, yeah. tinned salmon is uh, a, a great example. You know, um, you've got bean lentils and beans in cans, even tomatoes have been shown to have very high levels of nutrients in them. So we shouldn't be obsessed with, you know, getting the most expensive um, uh, supermarket or deli counter stuff. There's plenty of stuff around there that we can eat that gives us these, these nutrients. So that definitely important to bear in mind. Uh, canning and uh, freezing stuff is generally really good and maintains the polyphenols and all these extra chemicals and, uh, and the omega-3s. But um, they're just all one part of the picture. And I think what's really interesting is how um, in, there've been no new drugs in mental health for about 40 years now. Um, and so when we're starting to see uh, studies of probiotics mm -hmm. in, um, for depression, anxiety, um, meta-analyses of these showing there is some benefit, uh, to about the same level as antidepressants you know that's encouraging because yes. we still don't know which probiotic is best mm -hmm. and they may vary a lot depending on our own gut yeah um, so we may have to again experiment with those but um, and the other reason that antidepressants don't work in everybody is that uh, our microbes actually break down the drugs into different chemicals mm -hmm. and so in some people they're useful and others they're not and we think that's that's a major reason why some people benefit and others don't. Um, right. But the, the other point I think you were raising is that the Mediterranean diet has been shown in uh, some human studies to work actually better than antidepressants mm -hmm. uh, when given over three months. And uh, I think this is really important that if, if rather than going to an antidepressant, people look at their diet and first say, okay, how can I really have a diet makeover to really imp help my microbes produce the best chemicals for my brain. And that really should be everyone's first response because, you know, there's no side effects of a good diet. Um, uh, you know, the, the side effects are you might feel, even if it doesn't help your mental health, you're gonna feel better anyway. So that should be number one on our, on our list. And I think also stick with it, um, you know, a lot of people say they change the diet around, they can feel a lot better within a few days, you know, more energetic, their sleep and their mood, etc. But I think in terms of things like uh, maybe essential fatty acids, omega-3, a lot of those kind of things take a little bit while longer. Um, and in mental health, it may not be so quick as well. So for people just to encourage them, if they are changing their diet, don't just think it's a, a one week thing, you know, it, give, it, give it a good go for maybe at least a month to clean up your diet a little bit um, and then see if your mental health is improving it may not necessarily be be overnight um and then yeah, you well, know that antidepressants take you know months to work as well and yeah. that's a good a good lesson that you know and they probably and your and your diet is, is improving your gut microbes by the similar sort of mechanisms to produce uh brain friendly chemicals and as you said that's not done in a few days that's yeah. probably done over months and so uh it you, you you can't change in a few days your all your gut microbe community. So absolutely. And that's why it's important to go for diets that are sustainable, mm -hmm. uh, not not these fad diets that, you know, will work for a week, but then, you know, you get fed up of eating stuff out of a sachet or a or a, a tube. Um, that's right. 